time is 9.30am on the 24th of January 2015. Here is the main headline of the day. H1Z1 proves to be a pay-to-win, underdeveloped, overpriced, money-grubbing pile of dreck. More on that story later, after these horrific scenes. Some viewers may find these images disturbing, but not in a good, zombie apocalyptic way. Good morning to you. This is Titus Grown reporting from the zombie apocalypse. As you can see, not a huge amount is happening. Um, there seems to be a tear in the sky. Um, I don't know if that's uh, an omen of some kind. Uh, my hammer doesn't work. Well, that's a so there's massive input lag. And I'm bleeding to death, but fortunately... Um, uh, where have my bandages gone? I have no bandages. They've disappeared out of my inventory. Oh, that's marvellous, isn't it? Isn't that just wonderful? So I'm basically going to die. I'm sorry for this. Um, but we were all expecting so much more. Yep, they've definitely gone. I had at least two bandages left. I'm not going to call in an airdrop because, frankly, it's completely pointless. I'm going to eat some blackberries because that's what you do on H1Z1. You eat blackberries, you pick sticks, and you pick more blackberries. So, um, there's been a, a lot of anger towards this game, I think. Understandably, expectations there's some blackberries over there. Um, expectations were huge. Um, people watched um, the developers' live streams and their YouTube videos, and everything looked all wonderful. But they weren't playing the same game as we're playing. They were playing on a test server, um, and then the game came out. And no one could play it uh, because you couldn't create an account. Um, and then when you could, um, you got a G99 error. They sorted that out. I have to say good for them. And uh, then you couldn't get onto a server. In fact, no servers came up. Then servers came up, but you couldn't actually join them. Um, I can't risk it. You always get hit by zombies. It's, it's ridiculous. Loot basically spawns at the beginning of the server cycle. And if you don't get it, you're screwed. Because, and I've got a theory about this. Um, it's for this reason. No, sorry, let me... Uh, it's because of this. Marketplace. Buy keys, buy tickets, buy bundles. Get cash. Station cash. So you can buy more key. Look at that. It won't even let me leave it. They don't want you to just play this game and enjoy it. They want you to keep paying. Over and over again. The airdrops are completely bugged. I've tried two. Um, the first one killed Slampy because it came down with around 10 zombies on it. And they're not supposed to do that. And because of the. Something to do with the. Because it pops green smoke and then explodes when it hits the ground. Um, it crashed my game. Dear me, I'm getting hungry. So my game crashed. Slampy was dead. Um, there's massive input lag when you're trying to search something. It takes ages for it to come up. Um, so, yeah, we never got anything off that. When I got back in, it was nowhere to be seen. What else? Then, uh, yesterday I was playing it. Um, Unfortunately, I deleted the video. I wish I'd kept it. Um, I was playing on a P this, this same server, actually. It's PVE. 
so there's no player killing allowed. Doesn't stop people do trying it though. Um, so I caught in an airdrop. It doesn't land where you are, and the the plane actually comes in from like a kilometre away, and you hear it the whole time. So by the time it actually drops the the parachute with your care package on, everyone on the server knows where it is, and they're all there waiting. Fortunately, um, I said I said to I said to them. Um, that you know, this is my airdrop. I paid for it. Would you mind not stealing the stuff? Some of them still tried to steal it, but fortunately, the zombies aggroed on him, and he was getting punched um, by the zombies. Because it turns out that airdrops are a ripoff. Okay, it says. Look, let me show you. Airdrop. Airdrop tickets allow you to call in-game supply drops. Keep your eyes on the sky from where you make the request. It's on you to make sure you get there before your fellow survivors and you might have to fight for it, but not on a PvE server obviously. Airdrop contents are selected at random but will, but will contain a combination of items such as weapons, ammunition and various survival supplies. Lately we've had trouble with zombies, yeah blah blah. Right, this is what I got from it. I got a weapon repair kit and I got a load of metal. That was it. So, if you're actually paying for those, it's going to cost you about five pounds for each of them. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, I'm, I'm just reporting for the daily news. Um, I'm curious about what you think of the game. Yeah, it's alright so far. So you don't think it's a pay-to-win rip-off, um, underdeveloped, overpriced? No, it's underdeveloped. That's for sure. Not really. Pay to win though. Uh, the fact that you can pay for stuff to like weapons and things. Yeah, oh, that's stupid. I reckon you should get rid of that instantly. Okay, mate. Well, thanks for your help and good day. Yeah, you um, you haven't got any spare bandages, have you? For some reason, the game stole mine. It's a different guy. Have you not got a mic? You just press the middle mouse button if you want to speak. Oh, thank you so much. Very generous. Thank you. It looks like toilet paper. <laughs> it looks like toilet paper. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Oh, hello. Animal trap. Oh, right, okay. Can't carry it in there, can't carry it in there. I can carry it in my, tea, my blue and orange t shirt. Okay, that's quite good. Oh. This is me signing off. 10 30 a.m. January the 24th, 2015. Somewhere in the, in the wilderness of the zombie apocalypse. Feeling kind of cheated, um, bored, and uh, disappointed. Back to the studio.